No Man of Woman Born, The Story of the Bracelet. San Diego, California, June 1998, a Marine Corps or Naval base, I forget which one, on Coronado Island, where they filmed The Stuntman. I found a silver ball chain, like the kind dog tags are connected to. I put it in my bag and took it home with me. Since freshman or maybe sophomore year, Kirk had this black leather rope wrapped around his right wrist. It was on there for years, and I always wanted something like that. June 17th, 1998, I cut the bracelet down and wrapped it twice around my right wrist. I remember going to work to pick up my check. That night, a girl I knew from work and who I was kind of seeing came over to my house. Her name was Mandy. We watched The Goonies, and as the credits rolled, we both got naked and I gave her my virginity. I remember being in the push-up position with her body under mine and seeing the chain on my wrist. Driving her home later, I listened to Cashmere and tossed the used condom on the street behind Tim's house. I still have the wrapper. All of this was three years before I ever met Kelly, but June 17, 1998 was her 12th birthday. September 13, 1999, I began to date another girl named Marilyn. By this time, I put a black rope on my wrist, and so did she, to symbolize our love. Both of them kept falling off and breaking, and we had to repeatedly fix them. A perfect analogy for our relationship. In the year and a half since losing my virginity, I slept with seven girls. Five one time each, one about six times, and the other a lot more than that. Marilyn and I dated for two years and two weeks, bringing us to October 2001. By this time, my number was 10. Kelly and I first slept together September 1st, 2001. An interesting side story to all this is when visiting Marilyn at college in January 2002, I recognized a girl in a picture of Marilyn's sorority. The girl I recognized, Marilyn had talked to once or twice about me. It was Mandy. By summer of 2002, my number was 12. I will admit that when I was younger, I thought the bigger the number, the better the man. I was stupid, but what can I say? I thought it would make me a man, but thinking now... Looking back and realizing this doesn't make you a man actually makes you a man. So throughout all this, I still had this damn bracelet on my right wrist. It was a symbol of me. All main characters I wrote in my screenplays and various stories always had one. And a Kanga and Rue doll I gave Marilyn one Christmas. Both Kanga and Rue had little bracelets. Anyway, come one day I jumped out of bed and big spiggity bam, it fell off right to the floor. I went to school, came back, and took a picture of where it was laying. I then hung the bracelet on the wall where it still resides. It falling off ended a long and arduous period of my life. It fell off on September 13, 2002, what would have been my and Marilyn's three-year anniversary. That night was the night at Penguin Park, where and exactly when I knew I was truly in love with Kelly. The bracelet was on my wrist for four years and three months, or 1,549 days, thus the basis for the title of the final piece in Understanding Thursday. Within these 1,549 days, I had sex with 12 girls. I'm not ashamed, but I'm not proud. I did many terrible things and was a complete bastard to a lot of people. But since the bracelet fell off, I have only been with one girl. I have only loved one girl. I have done my best to be a man since then, and I think I've come through a little. In August of 2003, I put a new bracelet on my wrist, and around March of 2004, I put a black leather rope on my left wrist. The rope came from a journal Marilyn once gave me called A Mad Jack's Fleeting Glimpse. I don't know what these new bracelets mean yet. But when I figure them out, I'll let you know.